Hello, myself, Dr. Bhushan Pimpani. In this video, we will have a look about the hydro distillation method for separation of essential oil, which are also called as volatile oil. Essential oils are the fragrant and chief principles of most of the plants or generally spices or flowers and hydro distillation method is applicable to only those essential oil which are thermostable and to access the thermostability we just need to remember that any crude drug that is hard like clove or cinnamon or black pepper and all these the volatile oil present in these crude drugs is thermostable whereas the oil present in flowers is usually thermolabile like that of rose oil or even fennel dill coriander those oils cannot be isolated by this technique because at the end you will find the oil to be of giving out a different foul odor For the extraction purpose, we will require an RBF, preferably 1 liter RBF, then heating mantle. Again here, heating mantle before the start of the experiment, we need to check whether it is functioning or not. Most of the time it happens that uh, after setting up the entire assembly, we notice that the heating mantle is not working. Working in sense, not only just the glowing of the light, but even the mantle should warm up the RBF first. Next, porcelain pieces. Now, porcelain pieces here should be slightly larger and they should be more in number, minimum 5 to 10. 5, five porcelain pieces are enough. Crude drug powder. Uh, crude drug here, we can see the crude drug powder is of eucalyptus leaves. Eucalyptus leaves, again, they have thermostable volatile oil. Also, you can notice that the type of the leaf is hard it is hard leaf then very important part is clavenger apparatus now there are two types of clavenger apparatus the one this is of like similar to an H shape this H shape have, uh, clavenger apparatus is used to separate volatile oils those are heavier than water you can remember like H for heavy and H the chip resume uh, it denotes the heaviness of the volatile oil and generally in phyto uh, pharmaceuticals you will note uh, notice that only vol clove oil is heavier than water at room temperature its uh, specific gravity is 1.0432 and that of water is 1 so it sinks in water so for isolation of Clove oil, you should use this H shape. Whereas for other uh, volatile oils, usually all 99% of volatile oils are uh, lighter than water. And in that case, you can use this N shape. There is nothing for N. N is just the construction is just uh, in order to maintain the water level in this column up to this level. So the water water will settle down and oil being lighter than water will be trapped into this region and water will keep on rising not only in this graduated column but also in the tilted tube this is also called as a return tube the moment it reaches this height the water will fall back into the still whereas water cannot be rise beyond this level this is the reason why oil can be locked here whereas in this case H type of assembly oil gets locked in the lower region and water keeps on circulating from the above here water is recirculated same water is recirculated continuously for it acts as a heating medium water is acting as a heating medium then a Graham's condenser you can connect one or you can see a connect the two Graham cylinders in series as well water as I told you water is acting as a heating medium it is not a solvent 
water does not dissolves volatile oil this is just to provide heat to the crude drug now we'll see how initially an rbf is taken to then uh, to it porcelain pieces are added and then the crude drug powder is directly added into the rbf now again care should be taken that the amount of crude drug powder should be in such a way that it should not occupy the complete volume of the rbf the water as well as uh, crude drug powder should not exceed beyond 50 or 60% of the volume of the rbf then water water here should be poured directly on the crude drug now there are various methods some books specify that water the crude drug should be soaked in water overnight so that the cells expand and on heating they immediately give out the water but even you can follow this method directly pouring the water and boiling it with the crude drug if you are boiling it with the hot water it will release the volatile oil next part look at the type of the volatile oil apparatus or clavenger apparatus we are using here it is n type and this is just for your understanding it is the volatile oil apparatus used for separation of lighter volatile oil then to this we will be adding the grams condenser on top of it then connect it with water the water should always flow from beneath that means the inlet of the cold water should be from below and outlet should always from should be from above in order to maintain a constant water column inside the condenser next we will heat it increase the knob and place it at 50 or 60 even if you want you can increase it further to 70 80 and maintain it at a boiling state now see here the vapors are coming out the liquid has started boiling the vapor has vapor starts coming out the vapors are following a specific direction they move up they are lighter so they move upwards into the condenser gram condenser and since the condenser is being circulated with cool water the vapors get condensed and they trickle down in the form of oil now these vapors are not only of oil but water also also water and oil vapors both they travel in this direction both get condensed and both get uh, both are getting trickled down into the collector this is a graduated tube now since oil and water are immiscible with each other they form a separate layer in the receiver now you can notice here the golden yellow color liquid is that of volatile oil whereas whitish color is water the water is getting circulated back into the still the same water is getting circulated back into the still so this process continues until there is no rise in the volatile oil level so if suppose generally if you are heating it after uh, for 1 hour that means after boiling if you start the timer and if you heat it for 1 hour uh usually you will find most of the volatile oil coming out but if you are heating it again and if you don't find any rise in the volatile oil level here then that indicates the completion of the extraction that means all the crude drug has been now exhausted of volatile oil this is the essential oil so you can at this point you can stop and you can open this valve here which is very similar to a burette and you can release the water first then collect the essential oil 